Ada beberapa waktu yang lalu kandidat presiden dari Partai Republik Donald Trump kembali mengeluarkan pernyataan kontroversial. Sasarannya adalah perusahaan otomotif Ford yang dituding lebih memilih untuk memusatkan perakitannya di Meksiko. Kali ini giliran CEO Ford, Mark Fields, membantah tudingan tersebut. Berikut cuplikan wawancaranya bersama Poppy Harlow. Donald Trump has come out a number of times and said Ford is shipping jobs to Mexico. What do you say to him? Uh, we've created 25,000 jobs since 2011. And going forward over the next uh, four years, we've agreed to either retain or add another 8,500 jobs. We, the amount of money that we invest in R&D here is more than companies like Apple. We export more than 400,000 vehicles out of the U.S. to other markets around the world. So we are absolutely proud of what we do to contribute to economic development in our home country. How, and at R &D, the same time, yeah. at the same time, we're a multinational company, and it's really important for us to be competitive uh, around the world. You wrote him a letter saying this. Uh, yes, I did. Did he respond? Yes, he did. What did he say? He said, you know, thanks for your note. Free trade is critical for you guys. Donald Trump has said that free trade deals starting with NAFTA going through TPP have caused the middle class to, quote, disappear. He says we've, quote, sold out the U.S. worker. Free trade is core to your business. Mm -hmm. Is he right? Well, from our standpoint as a company, we have supported literally every free trade agreement, you know, since, since we've been a public company. And when you look at our business, we, today, we export almost 400,000 vehicles a year from the U.S. to various different countries around the world. But as we think about our business, we, we've said very clearly, as we have these free trade agreements, for example, the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, we have said, listen, we don't support that in its current form unless it has uh, um, disciplined currency uh, controls where we don't want countries to go out and just manipulate their currencies to make their, their, their goods cheaper to import into the U.S. But him pointing to free trade as why the bottom has fallen out of much of the middle class in his perspective and not talking about technology, mm -hmm. you see it, you see them both in your factories. I've been in the factories. Mm -hmm. I've seen what robots have replaced mm -hmm. and what humans still do. Mm -hmm. Is he right to point to free trade on that, or do you see it as bigger? Oh, I think it's a bigger issue. As we look at Ford, for example, um, you know, we've been able, since 2011, to hire over 25,000 people, as we're also upgrading our facilities here in the U.S. With, to, to be more productive, have more automation. Are those 25,000 hires here? Yeah, in the U.S., yeah. since 2011. And we've invested over $10 billion into our facilities here. So not, on, not only have we made investments in our facilities and made our, our plants more productive, we've also been able to hire more people. And even in the next four years, we have said we are going to invest another $9 billion in our facilities. And our intent is to either retain or add another 8,500 jobs. So HP Enterprise CEO Meg Whitman recently said about Trump's proposal to put a 35% tariff on all goods imported to this country from China and Mexico. She says it would sink this country into a recession. Is she right? Well, I, I don't know whether she's right or wrong. What I do know is... Well, as what a, would as, it do? As, 35%? Well, listen, there's there's free trade agreements. For example, I think he's, he's uh, pointed to, uh, I think, the NAFTA agreement. Well, the NAFTA agreement, that's, that's law. That's a free trade agreement. So, of course, as a company, we're always going to abide by the law. But if you do start putting excessive uh, 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 import, uh, duties onto imports, clearly that's going to have an impact on not, not only the economy, it's going to have impact on consumers.